do is I put on a really tough front to protect myself. So how would you, how do you go about not absorbing other people's energy like that, especially if it's negative energy that's coming at you? They want something from you, maybe you can't provide it, whatever it is. You know? Right, so where are these negative energies coming from? Like, where, where is the environment? Um, it, it could be work, it could be family. Not so much family anymore, I've resolved a lot of that. It's more, it's more from work. Right. Yeah. So, I am a very sensitive person too. I totally get what you're saying. I've spent many, many years alone because of that. Because whenever I go out, I, then I would like spending time with my dog, again, out in nature, with my spirit friends. And that's how I've become so also so psychic too, because they were my buddies and I wouldn't have like that energy from them. So I would hang out with, you know, my spirit friends, um, which, I'm talking about like angels and guides and ascended masters and archangels and fairies and star family and I communicate with all of them. So those would be my friends because everybody else was like kind of dragging me down at times. Now as far as a tip, um, you have like, I don't know if it's a tip that you're going to like, but you have to start eliminating people. People have to start being clear. You have to start shifting that environment the best that you can. Are these people like clients or something? Yeah, well, sometimes, yeah, I can't eliminate them, but I can possibly remove myself from the situation. Right. But eliminating people, I understand. I'm oh, sorry. I understand what you mean, because that's what I did with family. Yeah. And then I let them back in on my terms, and then it worked out really well. And sometimes it took, a, it took years. Yeah. There's like a mass clearing that takes place. Like I've had to do a mass clearing on like every level. And that's part of the spiritual journey is that once you start clearing your energy and get um, more focused on the type of people that you want to be around, as far as clear, like again, clearing your energy of what energy you're putting out there, you'll start, well, then you'll start attracting better people into your life that aren't draining you. But a lot of times that has to do with that patterning that the unhealthy relationships we have from when we're little kids. For our family, they're always step up. A lot of the problem is that they're stepping over our boundaries so that we end up attracting people who step over our boundaries or have bad attitudes or are complaining all the time. So we keep on attracting that. If you keep on attracting the same type of, type of people or if you're always around people with a bad attitude or things like that, there's something that you need to resolve within yourself so that you're not attracting that to you. And until you do like a, a shift that, again, it's, it's just safe, it's just to clear them out. Spend, I, would, I, I mean, again, the, there's a fear. A lot of this stuff is managing fear, clearing out anxiety, managing anxiety. Like if we're afraid to be eliminating clients, that's a fear there because that can be done, it should be done. You should be working with clients that you absolutely love. And if you don't think that that's possible, then again, that's another healing area to be um, clearing out the old programming that we have to deal with everybody. A lot of this, a lot of this stuff that we have is so built into our society of like we have to put up, we have to tolerate certain personalities, certain types of people, certain situations. Oh, I don't like my job, but I have to stay there because that's where I get money from. If I leave, I won't have the security. Um, you know, things like that. Oh, I have certain coworkers I don't like. Well, it's not the best environment for you. But I, I thought that things were put in your path so you would learn life lessons. So sometimes people are in your life so that you can learn from them as well, might not be comfortable though. Well, there's a difference between like learning the lessons and uh, torturing yourself. Because sometimes the lesson is, is that you have to eliminate people and say, I love myself more and I can't put up with 